Hello, this is Badger Lord Patrick. City building is definitely one of my favorite genres. It is why I built the kingdom of a thousand cities. I like the idea of going out and improving the lives of people. Really, I'm a coddler. I take great delight in giving to the citizens of my digital realms. Just giving, giving them jobs, goods, food, and religion so they can go be their best selves. I, I mean, so long as I don't have to get up out of my seat. It's real people, yeah, who needs them? Many, many games are about managing citizen welfare and building ever more complex cities, towns, and empires. But I think the first one I, I ever played was SimCity 3000. I got this game at a book fair long ago, along with two other games. Roller Coaster Tycoon, which I've already covered, and Sim Theme Park, which did not work. I had these three games, and my, how was my life changed forever by these games. Whereas RCT inspired a love of beauty, the thematic, and achievement getting, SimCity 3000 Unlimited inspires something completely else in me. It inspires a desire to grow, to keep improving, to keep fixing problems. Compared to other city-building sims of the time, I would call SimCity 3000 in some ways a tad simple. The city builders and business sims I really came to enjoy had a progression. You draw raw resources from the map, you turn them into goods, and you start with simple, low-density houses, hovels, and tents that grow as you give them more and more goods and services. Games I like have complex economies. In SimCity 3000, there's, well, there's really only one resource that's, well, that's real to you in SimCity. The old classic. Money. Yeah, yeah, I like money. I can work with it. What I have less patience for is how slow it is to get and how much everything proportionately costs. For some reason, I always waste away my starting budget within a few years, and then my young town takes a really intolerably long time, a couple of hours in game about 30 years, for me to get anything I want done. You might make a thousand dollars a year without causing riots. Eventually, after over half a century, probably long after I would have been dead if this were real, I did actually get fifteen thousand dollars or more a year without fleecing my people. A nuclear power plant costs that much. Even fifteen thousand dollars never quite feels like enough to do what you want. Getting to that point takes an awfully long time to wait, compared to my favorite games. At least it was enough to keep growing. My city also had several chronic and incurable problems, which somehow I always feel are my fault. Congested train lines, overworked and aging power plants that needed to be replaced. Industry not becoming high-tech and less polluting, despite my efforts. Not enough parks. Never mind, did I mention not having enough money? This may be both the greatest asset and liability about most of the classic SimCity games. Having to choose what to do next because you can't afford to do it all, certainly not even in 50 years, is a good reality check. At least for me and my highfalutin standards and fine aspirations. Aspirations are great, but to borrow a quote from Tropico, as it approaches reality, the cost becomes prohibitive. Checks on aspiration pose a great challenge to test my perfectionist desires. After all, I am only a finite creature who can only do so much. I'm not God, and it's good to be reminded I'm trying to be a good person within my limits. I guess I ought to be grateful and admire that in 60 years my city had grown to over 100,000 people, even though the trains will never stop being crowded. 
It is actually pretty cool to, over the years, see your city fill out more and more as you build more roads and rails, zone more, and receive rewards. Long-term growth is, I suspect, the, the thing I like most about SimCity 3000, in contrast to other city-building games that I prefer. I just wish the quality of life for your citizens were more obvious. It feels like I'm kind of just growing the city for its own sake, rather than really improving anything. Every game eventually gets to that point, you know, I think. Because, you know, every game's technology tree is limited, and no, no, no game can advance everything forever. But most gradually show that you're improving the quality of life of your plebs. In SimCity, there's just not much visual progression beyond the city just getting bigger. I mean, you can upgrade low-density zones to high-density zones and, you know, just add more of everything, but maybe it's just me that doesn't feel much like progress or improvement to me. I will say I did play several hours of SimCity because I'm, I'm just driven by growing and improving things, and the reward buildings eh, did kind of incentivize continuing, kind of improved the city, but eh, it's a lot less satisfying than most of the city building games I've played. As an introduction to city building to ten-year-old me, however, this was a game changer for me. It left me hungry for more, and in my opinion, much better city building games.